There's been a political backlash to the promise by Australia's Prime Minister to spend a further $700 million to protect the Great Barrier Reef. And that's on top of the $1.4 billion already committed to a sustainability plan. The Great Barrier Reef is one of Australia's best-known natural attractions, but the tourism destination is under siege. Severe back-to-back -back bleaching events in recent years have wiped out swathes of corals, and it remains a high risk of further destruction, with climate change driving an increase in temperatures. Critics have slammed the announcement, which comes just months from a federal election. Shadow Treasurer Jim Chalmers has called the announcement, and I quote, an admission of failure and a con job, and is strategically timed to coincide with the upcoming federal election. It does feel like a bit of a smokescreen. Um, all of these efforts are toward improving water quality, a lot of the remediation for erosion, land use runoff, um, reducing nutrient and pesticide runoff, which of course contributes to crown of thorns outbreaks. Um, these are all problems that the reef is facing, absolutely, but all of these solutions and all of these efforts toward these problems are going to be all for naught if we're not addressing the main problem that the reef is facing, and that's the effects of warming that are coming with climate change. Roger Maynard tells us if the additional funding is too little too late for the reef. You could never really spend enough money, I suppose, when it comes to saving the Great Barrier Reef. And this $1 billion investment will certainly help to protect the reef, at least in the short term. Whether it's too little, too late, remains to be seen. But there's no doubt there's a domestic political element to this issue. Only three weeks ago, the Labour opposition promised to spend $163 million on the reef over the next four years, if they're elected to government. So in some respects, both sides are trying to outdo each other's financial commitment to the reef. You also have to remember that some of the parliamentary seats in Queensland are marginal government-held constituencies, and the results of the next election could decide who becomes the next Prime Minister. So there's a lot at stake here, as well as the well-being of this pristine marine environment. The Great Barrier Reef is the most complex reef system in the world, covering 200,000 square kilometres, but there's no denying it's in danger from a combination of threats, including water quality, climate change, bleaching, and predators like the crown of thorn starfish, which has damaged vast areas of the reef in recent years. It's also one of Australia's greatest tourist attractions, contributing more than $6 billion to the economy and creating about 64,000 jobs. So it has both economic and environmental importance.